I'm back. I'm back. Well, not exactly back. I got invited today to shoot one last vlog to round up the whole Insights Humid Set series that I shot over the summer. So this will be a bonus vlog, I suppose. I plan on talking to a few people today about early career opportunities at Humid Set. So this might interest some of you people. So yeah, bear with me to the end. Monsieur Adamson, Brody Adamson. That's right? Yes. Nice I'm to meet you, Jonas. Hello. Hi, Jonas, nice, nice to meet you. you. So, I got invited uh, today by um, Monsieur Paul Cunet to talk about uh, career opportunities. He told me that uh, UMEDSAT has set up a specific program which is called the ECP, the Early Career Program, and told me Monsieur Adamson is responsible for this program, so maybe you can have a few words about the yeah, program. No um, so the, the Early Career Program, or uh, ECP, as you called it, yeah, um, it's a, a two-year entrance um, scheme into UMETSAT, uh, okay. where we identified um, several posts which we normally would recruit for in two years as a normal staff position, um, and then we advanced these two years and we looked for um, younger profiles that could occupy these these roles for two mm -hmm. years to take a development approach. So we developed these these junior engineers over a two-year period um, and then hopefully um, if everything goes well uh, they would um, transform I guess you might say uh, into a full staff member after these two years are up. So this is the purpose of uh, this training program. After the two years they take in the position if yeah. I understood it. Yeah, so it's right. a bit different than other um, I know many companies have sort of an early career program, right? okay. but it's often one year internship um, sort of situation where you don't have any, um, any assurance of a job afterwards. But yeah. here, I mean, if you come in and you're good um, after these two years, um, yeah, there's a position. Okay, sounds uh, very encouraging to me. So, Miruna, um, how has it been so far? When did you start the uh, early career program? So, I started on the 1st of September this year, like, okay. what, four months ago. I'm a junior, junior computer science engineer, so I occupy one of these four ECP posi mm -hmm. positions. Uh, so far, so good. I'm quite happy. Okay. Uh, it is challenging at times, I have to learn a lot of new things, but it's good because I have people that teach me as well. Okay, so you have a specific uh, mentor or somebody that tracks your progress, I guess? Uh. Yes, yes, I have a reporting officer, just like a normal um, staff member of UMATSAT, uh, that gives me the, uh, the, the work task, let's say, and mm -hmm. that tracks my progress, and then I have also a mentor that gives me career advice. All right, good. And um, where did you find out about this uh, ECP program? Did you go? You heard about it from somebody else, or? Uh, no, actually, on the on the website of UMATSAT. Oh, okay, I was just simply as that. Looking through, um, through, I don't know, photos of um, Earth and uh, mm -hmm. geological satellites and so on, and then I just found this program, and I found it really attractive, so I applied. Okay, very interesting. So. How do you apply exactly, uh, Brody? What's the ideal academic uh, profile that is required to enter such a There's program? There's no ideal academic profile. I mean, we expect somebody to have completed university studies within an area relevant for one of these positions. So Maruna is a junior computer science engineer, um, and she studied computer science. Uh, there's other positions within our remote sensing science team or within our systems engineering or operations engineering team. And so we would expect somebody to have studied uh, you know, engineering or science in a, in a relevant field for one of these positions, but we don't expect a master's degree or a PhD. And, mm. and we don't want extensive work experience. Uh, we'd like people who, who have, have left university recently, maybe got their first experience in an internship, um, and then um, come here with a real strong learning orientation um, to develop themselves over the, these two years to learn from some very experienced mentors who will be mm -hmm. retiring um, recent or shortly um, and then hopefully uh, if everything goes well um, and all parties are happy to um, take over one of these staff positions we've identified within two years. Okay, 
good. So it's a program for the Padawan to become the master <laughs> yeah. in Star Wars in language. Like yeah. <laughs> okay, so um, I need to go ahead and talk to Paul now because he invited me here to talk about uh, uh, the ECP program. Um, I'm not really sure where his office is. Maybe you can. Yeah, it's up on the fourth floor. So uh, this elevator okay. is over here, and just up the fourth floor, and his division All right. is just around the corner. Right okay, so it's four floors. So yeah. it's where I had my office when I had the yeah. internship. Yeah. So I should. Know. All right. Thanks a lot yeah, for your nice time, Cody. Nice, Thank you. nice to meet you. Thanks a lot, you. and we'll see you around. Yeah, see you Bye. So if I remember it right, Paul's office was. This one. There we go. Monsieur Cunet. Ah, How's it going? Welcome back. Thanks a lot. Thanks for having me back here. Nice to see you. Have a seat. So, I've just talked to Brody Adamson and one of the engineers about the so-called ECP, Early Career Program. And I've come to you to wrap all this vlog up to talk about, uh, maybe you have a final word about this program, why have you set it up, why is it so important to you, Metsat? We did it because we need new ideas, we need new young people into UMetsat because UMetsat is still a growing organization. We have got a lot of new investment in new okay. big satellite programs and so we need people to do these programs. But these programs are challenging, they are using new technologies, a lot of new science behind. So we need new ideas, we need people to, to, to do that. Okay. And people from many different profiles, so clearly engineers, but also scientists, and also in some support function in finance, in law, in communication. Mm -hmm. So that's uh, the purpose of the early career program. And uh, I think it's still very attractive because you met that on top of being young and dynamic, is also working on things which are of very high interest. We are mm -hmm. dealing with the monitoring of our planet and with the climate of change and the weather. So it's very attractive for young people. As part of staff, they can come of sa as staff, they can come as part of the early career program, but mm -hmm. also for younger people uh, proposing internships in Yometsat. So yeah. there are many different ways to start a relationship with our organization. So basically, one message is come and join us. And if you cannot apply as a staff or even as an earlier career program, we have also other uh, mechanisms like the internship. So even if you are a young student, you can join us and have a pain experience with you with that through this internship program. And I'm the living proof of it because uh, I have a really fantastic experience here with this internship uh, over the summer. I mean, the vlogs also is the proof that uh, people here are really receptive to your ideas and it's a really progressive uh, organization. I will encourage you to really apply here and uh, they will welcome you with arms open. I'm gonna wrap this uh, vlog up now. I hope this video has inspired some of you to uh, apply here. So, one word, visit our website and join us. <laughs> exactly. See you. Ciao.